Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 5 to 8, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. The way we became friends, I think, is in true Heidi fashion. It's something that I admire about her, and it's her willingness to strike up a conversation with somebody because she has an interest in getting to know them. Heidi, you look beautiful today. Chris is very clearly a lucky man. Chris has been my best friend for over 30 years, and I look forward to continuing that same great friendship with you. We were, I was walking in the hall one day, um, coming back from class, and she was passing me, and she stood in front of me and blocked me. And she said, hey, I don't know you. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm Christina, I'm from New York. And I thought it was cool. I wasn't somebody at the time that would do anything like that. I admired people who could do it. And, you know, as they say, the rest is history. There will be times, believe it or not, when you won't feel like loving the other person. And in those moments, my prayer for you is that you would remember Paul's words, and that love is not something that you feel, but something that you choose. To choose to seek the good of the other, both when that you're really motivated to do that, and when you're not really motivated to do that. This is love. Chris, do you take Heidi to be your wife, and do you promise to give yourself to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Heidi, do you take Chris to be your husband, and do you promise to give yourself to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. Nothing prepared me for what the privilege of being yours would do. I surrender who I've been for who you are. I promise to love you, to respect and support you, to be patient with you, to work together with you to achieve our goals, to accept you unconditionally, and to share life with you throughout the years. The path of love isn't always straight or smooth or without peril. I vow to walk this life with you arm in arm as your husband, arm in arm as your wife, to be your support when you falter, and to lean on you in times of trouble, and to never let you go. In my heart you always know, there is a place only your love can go. This ring I give you, in token and pledge, your constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit.
This ring I give you, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith and abiding love. Of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Chris and Heidi, I wish you both a long life of health, happiness, together. Heidi and Chris, by the authority committed to me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ and by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Please join me in raising a glass to toast this couple, this beautiful couple on their wedding day. It's an honor to be here with you and we love you dearly. Congratulations.